Okay. So this is the Andy Pie Berry Glow installation. So on this side we've got uh, the USB for the power connector and also connected to the input side uh, here we've got the three wires uh, going to the Raspberry Pi. So there's just three for the ground, the clock and the data which you can see attached to the GPIO pins there. Um, if you follow the instructions on the Andy Pi website you can see exactly what they are. So it's very simple, just this string of WS2801 RGB LEDs um, plus the, the ENDS2 connector. So for this tutorial I'm assuming you've installed Hyperion on the Raspberry Pi and on your Android device as per the Andy Pi website instructions. So as you can see there's this colour wheel that you can um, change the colour of the lights individually as well. Uh, you can also do some effects, so some rainbow colours, there's a Night Rider effect, various things that you can do and that's in addition to what's happening with what's on the screen as well. So here we can see another installation on the back of uh, the monitor. Um, so you can see, yeah, just change the lights exactly the same as what I've previously shown. And I've just stuck it down at the minute with blue tack, uh, just for temporarily um, testing. Uh, but you can use Sugru or some other uh, fixing device. They're pretty easy to um, yeah, stick on however you like. So this is the RGB calibration video, obviously you can see the uh, LEDs on the back line up with the colours on the front of the screen as well. Uh, this is a um, yeah, real life video, this is streaming to the Raspberry Pi, obviously you can see the green is actually quite a light green reflected behind the TV but then as soon as the red shirted players come into view uh, you can see the LEDs on the back change colour.